Everyone who's come within a country mile of a competitive shooter has at the very least heard of Simple. They have, they've done so towards that ramp. They go right into the oh. line weights of Simple. Headshot to Sixer, no scope to RPK, and another. He's thrown the rule book counter strike away and he's completely lighting them up. This is unbelievable. Oh, Simple oh my, with oh the my. headshots from hell. He's got a triple. He fakes it once and just goes to check the window. This is all about timing. Nitro does have a model of another smoke, so it could be really rough for Simple to actually get through this. He's going to throw the AWP. And oh my god! Simple, what is happening? At this point, Simple may just want to take some CTs out so they don't not able to pick more weapons up. Oh my god, that's ridiculous from Simple! How on earth has he done that? He isn't just arguably the greatest CSGO player of all time, he's one of the greatest FPS phenoms ever to touch a mouse and keyboard. A dome-smashing deity who's worshipped worldwide for his uncanny ability to pull off disgusting, unthinkable feats all the time. There's a player right next to him on his left, and surely... He gets taken down here. He spots one. Oh, Hits what? Chris J somehow. I don't know how. Hurt him through the... It, it hurt. Oh, oh got my him. God. That's so smart from Simple. What? But that's not the only reason he's renowned. See, in addition to being the undisputed master of his craft, the inimitable Oleksandr Simple Kostiliev is also a bit of a meme. And whether you're some edgy Silver 2 e-gamer or some G-fueled Fortnite sad boy, surely you must know that a play cannot be deemed truly sick unless it heralds the asking of one simple question. Why are you bullying me? <laughs> Why are you bullying me? No, but freely you can have it, actually. Psych, you thought? This kid, dude, he's so mad. He's so mad, dude. Why are you bullying me? <laughs> What you may not know is the story and controversy behind that question. Hey, I'm stop losing it. rounds, dude. You keep talking to me. Shut up. You suck. You aim at the ground when you run around. You're so bad. You need a tan. Get some French. Ooh, Shut the fuck up. The tale of how Europe's most toxic yet tantalizing prospect became the most maligned and mistreated import North American Counter-Strike has ever seen. I think in general, his skill outweighs his, his attitude, and I, th I don't think he's always bad. So why is it that Simple became the bane of the region that he was supposed to save? How much of that hate was deserved, and is there a sense in which it shaped him into the reformed superstar that he is today? He can jump on those boxes, but instead he's gonna call the first. Gets the frag, but this is so nice from Liquid. He's holding it, and all Naf has to do is check it. Oh! 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 Not again, Simple! That's simply not allowed! Okay, so before he was Sasha the Smasha, CSGO's colloquially accepted GOAT, and the only man with almost as many Superstitum montages to his name as MVP medals, Simple was but an unproven prodigy known for two things. The first was his indescribable talent. Hellraisers, it's falling apart for them. Forrest gets legged. Simple is trying to chase him down, but this is not gonna go. This is not how, how it's supposed to go here for Hellraisers. They are about to get overwhelmed, and what looked like such a solid start to their half has only resulted in, what, five rounds? Which I think is plenty, but it, it, but obviously it's a little bit sad for them because they could have had way more. So you got to give oh. some credit to NIP for bringing it this far back. It's definitely very cool. Now, as long as they don't find simple, fight simple one at a time, there should be no way out of this, especially not with just 20 seconds here. So they just got to stay safe. Otherwise, it's that would be the worst way for NIP to lose us uh, around, And that would actually be bit, pretty big if that happens. 10 seconds. Molotov goes in the corner. He's going to try and see if he can look for the man in here. And Freiburg goes down. Five seconds, four seconds. He's going to go straight for the plant. And he's going to get it as well. Now it's get right. He's actually revealed his position. Simple's reading right here. He's got the triple. He just needs the timing. Get right there. He pre-fires. And he's going to get it. Simple. Oh, you oh my god. The second was his incessant toxicity. Thank you for game, Dumas. Thank you, sir. Really nice to play with you. You're playing like fucking bitch. Nice, simple man. Shut up, you fucking old. See ya in hell, Germans. You see, Simple's fighting roots ran deep. Even as a kid, he'd been a feisty little rascal. Mom, look, a, a prepiller. 
постоянно он там с кем-то дрался. Ну, постоянно. У них... After being kicked from his first real roster, Hellraisers, on account of his caustic persona, Simple found himself on flip-side tactics. And on that team, he became both flashier and, in spite of his past misconducts, even flamier. This wasn't just in official matches, mind you. Simple's antics got so bad that at one point he was handed a seven-day ban from FPL's TeamSpeak server. User in your channel was banned from the server. What the fuck? <laughs> Simple was banned for seven days from the server by Taz. My friend, you need to calm down. This is one week warning. In spite of his obvious transgressions, Simple continued to solidify himself as arguably the most gifted up-and-comer in the pro scene. I'm not gonna find that. Oh my God! There it is. Like, what is the? What is up with this guy? And following his heavily publicized departure from Flipside, he made a real effort at reform. You can watch every my stream. You can watch any pro stream when I'll be here. Uh, you see me from another side, you know. I listen to us, I listen to Hiko. Hiko said me. And then, thanks to his newly formed friendship with Hiko, he was given the opportunity to represent his first tier one organization all the way across the pond. Hellbent on achieving his dream, he put everything in his life on hold and said yes. Now, at this point, North American CS had yet to form its first real super squad. Liquid signed Simple, realizing that if they could get his toxicity under control, he could be their salvation. So, the org greeted him with an extremely warm welcome. But just because Liquid was happy with his arrival, didn't mean that everyone was. The other pros he'd been brought into Eclipse weren't exactly in love with the idea of this toxic teenager with a god complex being touted as their lord and savior. Of course, that wasn't Simple's fault. What was Simple's fault was the way he chose to carry himself. What are you doing, you f***ing idiots? Let's go together and win or I I'm gonna leave, you f***ing... You f***ing idiots, kill someone! Why I kill everyone, you fucking fucking idiot, fuck you. You see, Simple was a true perfectionist. The kind of player who interpreted every little incompetence as a blatant throw, and was terrible at expressing his frustrations in a constructive way. So he tended to evoke the ire of the irritated Americans he'd been forced to play with. And from there, a meme was born. One of the holiest, dankest, and most ubiquitous utterances in the whole of CSGO. Peter, why you... what he's doing? Why you bully me? <laughs> you f***ing bitch, why you bully me? Everyone asking. Now, to be fair, that interaction was actually held to be in good fun. The problem was that shortly after that, people started legitimately attacking Simple over the stupidest shit. Flashing, flashing. <laughs> Nothing being reclaimed. It didn't matter that he wasn't the one who started any of this shit. The community kept going after him, knowing that eventually they'd get a rise out of him. But it wasn't until Simple found himself playing with Ryan Freakazoid Abadir, who, fun fact, happened to be masquerading as Stewie 2K, What's up, bitch? that things really spiraled out of control. Simple, why are you such a noob, dude? Stop baiting for kills, dude. You suck. Do you even have real life friends? You don't even know who you're talking to. <laughs> I don't think you have real life friends, do you? Do you have any balls? Or, nah. You just like talking online and get scared in person, huh? Man, have you seen your aim? Your aim sucks. Oh, okay. You rush for kills and still die. Okay, what? Stop talking to me, please. Hey, I'm stop losing leaving. rounds, dude. You keep talking to me. Shut up. You suck. <laughs> you aim at the ground when you run around. You're so bad. You need a tan. Get some bread. Shut the f up. The clip spread throughout the community like wildfire. 
Before long, everyone had seen it, and people were taking sides. But most condemned Freak, claiming that he'd crossed the line between shit-talking and actual bullying. Well, it just goes to show how American, you know, Freak is, right? It's all about the bullying, baby. America bullies the rest of the world. Freak bullies simple. It's a, it all comes around in a nice full circle. Still, there were those who came to Freak's defense. People who claimed that even though he may have taken things a little too far, it was kind of hypocritical to pretend all of a sudden that Simple was innocent in all of this. I'm not trying to badmouth Simple, but he himself is blatantly known to troll people online and call people noobs and, you know, kind of bait people. And then he's just able to say he's joking, but to act like he's like a small little frail kid that can't handle himself when he just talks, blatantly talks crap to people online all the time, to me was hilarious. And sure, there might be some merit to that. But there's also no denying that Freak's behavior was downright cruel. He's definitely in the wrong, like 100%. Obviously, I think everyone, everyone can see that Freakazoid, Ryan, I call him Ryan, is in the wrong. And really, Simple did nothing to ask for what happened. Cloud9's manager, Stunna, was quick to issue an apology on the team's behalf, followed soon after by Freak's own apology, which came off as disingenuous. I'm making this video because last night uh, with the incident was simple. Um, I was defending my friends and uh, I went too far. I made a mistake and I just want to apologize to simple. Um, I want to apologize to my team, my organization, my teammates. And while Simple's camp accepted these apologies, it felt as if the damage had been done. It was like Simple's walls had been torn down and everyone was finally afforded a window into the soul of this seemingly out of control teenager. And what they saw surprised them. My dream is wake up in the morning in Ukraine for sure, just turn on my television and to hear that today everything good. No kills, no dice, no fucking stupid situation. It's peace in all world, my friend. And that's what I really want because, you know, <sighs> I'm doing fucking a lot bad things. I'm a good person in fucking real life, but sometimes I'm trolling so hard in fucking in Twitter or CS and people don't understand me. Sometimes I'm writing shit frost with my bad English and people don't understand this. So I just want a fucking peace in the fucking world. That's all I want. That's all I want. There was no denying that since migrating to the States, Simple had become even more of a toxic, tyrannical asshole but it also became apparent why. He wasn't evil, he was just a kid who missed his friends, his family, his food, his language, who'd left home for the first time in his life in the hopes of fulfilling his dream only to get shit on by virtually everyone around him, who, like anyone, struggled with the idea of being hated. And yet somehow he succeeded in spite of it. ADM, nade out in behind the back of the site, not to be spotted though, or not to be taking any damage. It is still simple though. He's rotated over. He's now coming to life, and it's gonna be a dread that pops that late. Suddenly around! Out of nowhere, simple saves it! Saves it is just simple. So commit to the plant. No, baits it out smartly so gets Edward, and he knows that they're trying to wrap back around onto him. Smoke to allow him the freedom of movement. And also the chance to peek. Spots the gun barrel of Zeus. He's gonna try and catch him out. Lurk up closely. He sees him coming. Nice shot by Simple. There's two. One to go. Seized. Oh, oh. Back turn. They don't know they're there. It's gonna be it. He pulls it back. Simple is creeping. They see him with the orb now. And the, the desperate play into B comes in. Smokes. See a double smokes in the same place there. Simple just jumping casually into the side. He's gonna fall down again. Oh. What is this pass from Simple? Are you serious? What is that? You can't do that, Simple. That's not allowed. This is not FPL. This is a major. But simple. I, I don't know, man. If he just comes in with that, it's not. The no scope. It's the no scope. He didn't even. He had. We had one button on his mouse there. He had one button. There was no zoom. Make no mistake. 
Simple could be one unbearable son of a bitch. But North American Counter-Strike was in no shortage of those. And nobody went after those players the way they went after him. Needless to say, Simple's stint in North America didn't end up working out. In the end, the differences between him and his teammates were too much to overcome. So in August of 2016, Simple returned to Ukraine and ran into the loving arms of the one org he'd always dreamed of joining. And the thing that actually mattered to him the most, his family. But that doesn't mean that his overseas expedition was a total failure. After all, it gave us the single sickest highlight of his career and brought Liquid to the brink of two major wins. And perhaps most importantly, it taught him a valuable lesson when it comes to playing well with others. And Lord knows he's put it to good use. And look at Electronic, he's just exuding confidence. He hasn't let go of W and he's punished for it. Nexa now has a Krieg to fight this one off. And Kenny, he's not going down without a fight. Interesting maneuver at championship point, I have to say, but still they're making it work. <laughs> two versus two, and it's going to be Simple and Flamey, who just seem to be taking matters into their own hands. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. there it is. Your champions are going to be Na'Vi. It's a 3-0 clean sweep here in the grand final. While the Simple of old has been known to rear his ugly head from time to time, so fucking in. Oh my god, sorry. He's made huge strides as a cooperative competitor. People knew Simple as the game's most selfish prodigy, but he has matured into a team-oriented superstar. Only two weeks and we destroyed everyone. Sorry, teams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just, that's a great moment. Thanks, Perfecto, Boomich, and Blade for coming in this team. Thanks to our psychologists as well. Like, without all of them, I think we couldn't do what we did now. Simple may be a deity in the server, but if he's learned anything from his experience overseas, it's that he's just as human as the teammates he'd made a habit of putting down. That if his roster was ever going to truly get on his level, they'd need to be bolstered, not bullied. Flame has gone down and out, just perfecto and simple. He needs a multi-kill, first found, twist aggressing. They have to double peek, he's getting his shot, he's hitting another one! Simple, no, Simple, that's unbelievable! What in his name, number one in the game, he's done it again! Yeah, I love it, dude. I love the why you bully me. Why you bully me? Everyone asking. Like, it's just so fucking good. It's so fucking good, dude. Super Stidham honestly gave this meme life, dude. He just gave it life. It's so funny. That guy's doing God's work. Oh, he's doing God's work, dude. He's doing God's work. I was so happy that he gave us that shout out on the Stewie. Like when he wrote in our comments, he yeah. was just like raving. I was so happy. I was like, dude, Super Stidham, honestly, like, Super Stidham is the goat. He's the fing goat, dude. He's so good.